Welcome everyone, I'm Hackitech and this is Hackitech Playground. Today we will talk about AWS IAM Access Analyzer in 10 minutes. IAM Access Analyzer is an AWS tool for IAM that helps you to analyze your IAM policies. It's very simple and everyone can deploy it. So this tool uses semantic reasoning with algorithm called Zelkova and it translates IAM policies into equivalent logical statements and runs a suite of general purpose and specialized logical solvers. So it means that it will review your IAM policy and all the statements in, in it and it will tell you what is the problem. Also, it provides an archive rules where you can specify under which conditions your rule will be archived or your finding will be moved from active statement to archived. And then account or organizational base. That means that you can deploy the IAM access analyzer in one account or you can deploy it organization wise. And that's something what I think the big companies or enterprise level or enterprise companies will basically appreciate because it can be deployed at scale. And when we will go further, the IAM Access Analyzer can notify through the event bridge uh, or trigger the Lambda, which will add the deny statement in the specific role. In the same time, it can send the email notification through AWS SNS to, either, uh, to notify your security team to review the, review the role before it will be deployed. So you can have some human gateway or some human check before you will do any changes. And if you want to know more about this automatic solution, you can check uh, AWS block for that. With IAM Access Analyzer, it is pretty easy. Here is my console home, and I want to show you how to work with IAM Access Analyzer in a very short time and give you the maximum knowledge. So you need to go to IAM as a first step. Then you see here that there are some problems with my roles, users, policies, but that's fine. Then you need to go to Access Reports, Access Analyzer. Then there you will see the Access Analyzer Archive Rules, Analyzer Settings, Credential Report, and others. So the IAM Access Analyzer is hidden under Identity and Access Management. So then you need to go to IAM Access Analyzer and you should see the splash screen as I have here and you can create your first analyzer or you can add your delegated administrator. This is for delegated administrator account where you can, um, where you can analyze all of your analyzers around your account. So I will click on create analyzer and I will give it proper name like Hackitect, Hackitect Analyzer and then what is the region? Okay, there's invalid name. So you need to use something like this, Hackitech-Analyzer. And then you specify the region. So for me, the region here is US East, Northern Virginia. Then zone of the trust. So you can say that you are interested in current organization when you are in the root, if you have delegated, or if you have delegated administrator, or in current account. So what I will say, I am interested here in the current organization and there is an organizational ID with O dash then the ID or the account, where is the account number? So I'll say, okay, I'm interested in this organization and I can add tag, this will take a while. And when I will add the tag, you can add to up to 50 tags. So I will say this is environment, environment, and I will say production. So here we are. So environment is production. And I can add up to 50 tags. So when you create the analyzer, the trust relationship is related between, or is created between your AWS organizations and I am access analyzer. That's something that you need to keep in mind. And additionally, service linked role is created in all the accounts in the organization. That's also something that you should consider when you are creating 
uh, organizational based. And here, for the current account, when you create or you enable an access analyzer, the service linked role is created in only current account. So when I'm thinking about that, it's just for the demo purposes and for the cleanup purposes, it will be better to like use it for this account only. Then I will create an analyzer. So when I click on create analyzer, it will take like short time before the analyzer will be created. And then very soon it will give me the findings. So here, this architect analyzer doesn't have any findings, but very soon it starts to add, based on the semantic reasoning algorithm behind it, new findings in my IIM roles and just tell me where are the problems with the roles. So you have roles in the various statuses. So there is an active, archived, and a resolved. So for active, there are active findings from your analyzer and in archived, that are the findings that you already archived. And you can create archived rule for it. And then in resolved, you have the findings that are already mitigated and not relevant for you anymore. What you can do, you can click on all and you will see all the findings. So when I will go to these two findings here in active for this account, uh, every finding has its own finding ID. And in the resource, you see that the Cloudcraft is the role that is affected by a specific problem. There is an external principle, then the conditions share true, and what is the access level? And then when is the last update of the finding ID? So when you look at the detail, there is a finding ID when it was updated, external principle, what is the resource, the account owner, the rule status, that's also very important. And then is that internet access? Then you can, you can put it on archives. So that you can archive the specific rule. Or if it is not intended, you can go to IAM console. So I'll click on this in, in the new window and it will like direct you to the role and you can do your updates. So you can go to the role, you can see whole JSON specifying this specific role and all the statements and effects for this role. And you can update the role. You can do some cleanups with that. And that's, that's the way how you will work with the rules. That there's lots of work with that. But in the same time, if you will be happy with this role and you will say, hey, I'm, I'm very happy with that. And you see here, here that there's an STS assume role. I can click on, click on archive or I can click on rescan. So when you will remediate the findings through your IAM console in, from, the, from the IAM access analyzer, you can rescan the finding and it will be in the status of finding or it will change to resolved. So, or you can do another thing, you will say, hey, I am fine with that, so I will archive it. So when I archive the rule, I will go to findings in archived and you see that this specific finding is archived. Then you can do some actions. You can export the finding. That means when you click on export, it will give you in the finding uh, description in a, in a JSON, which is holding all the metadata around the finding from the like when it was when when it was analyzed, where it was updated, what is the resource, if it is public, and lots of lots of interesting ideas or informations that you can use for your data analysis. Then you can download the file. I will not do that now. That another point that you can do, okay, now it is relevant for me. You can unarchive this specific finding and you will have here in active findings again, this, this, find, this finding for the specific, with the specific recommendations. Then when you click at analyzers, you can create more analyzers for your organization. So I can create, for example, the organizational wise uh, analyzer. I'll click on this just to show you. And you, I will have two. Are two analyzers now. This architect analyzer for the current account and then the organ, uh, like organization-wide analyzer that will scan all of my accounts. And what you can do is, is also create a delegated administrator. So you can here, you see here in the settings, here in your analyzers, you see that one is in creating, second is active, 
and I will go here. It's, it's being created, you can tag it. So there are two levels of access that you can create for your access analyzer. It's account or organization. And you can also dedicate uh, delegate administrator. So in addition to organizational management account, this member account will share the administration access to access analyzer. So you can have your own security account being management account for your IAM access analyzer. So you can click on add delegate administrator. You can enter organizational account ID. I don't have one now for you, but just showing you that because I don't have such a big organization in my demo account. Then for the delegate administration, you can click uh, include here the delegated admin account ID. Then you will save the changes and your account, especially security account, will have delegated permissions to administer your IAM access analyzers. Deleting whole analyzer is super easy. I deleted just this one, which was the previous one, but I want to delete the whole organization. Then I will click on delete, write delete and confirm it. And then all the analyzers are deleted. And you can do the same thing very easily with Terraform or CloudFormation. So it is very, very easy and it provides lots of value in your IAM access analysis. What is very interesting when you are doing some penetration testing or security analysis of your account, access analyzer is your go-to for the IAM permissions. Wow, that was a ride. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, hit the bell just to not miss any notification. So thank you again. And I hope that you like this video. If you have any questions or if you want to know more, feel free to comment there. So cheers and see you next time.